What I'd like you to make is one prediction in the next five years that you think will come about as a result of all the interest in technology now and the big push and sort of urgency and so forth that will be really wonderful because I'd like people to leave on an optimistic note. So with that, I'm going to turn to Rich and then go to Joe and uh, Dr. Weed. So I think that uh, what we're going to see in healthcare reform is going to need to be focused on financing and the way we purchase healthcare differently. And I think if the government gets it right, they will purchase not services, but commitments to improve the health of a population. And they will find entities that take that on and they won't be uh, my office individually and they won't be um, that physical therapist emergency room. I think there will be pressure on healthcare to aggregate around that. And I think we'll see that within five years because if we don't see that within five years, uh, the cost trends are just completely unsustainable. And in that world for patients and for doctors both, I think there will be a role for health IT and for primary care physicians uh, or primary care nurse practitioners, people with a fair amount of education who can guide and direct patients at a technologically enabled interface in a way that will improve the, the experience that patients have when they go. People will know them better. People will treat them more safely. And I think we'll see that even within five years. I'm glad he was first. No, that's, uh, let's say there's the off-quoted phrase, the future is here. It's just not widely distributed yet. Um, I'm just, you know, despite, you know, some things that get people excited, I am exceedingly optimistic. Rarely in the future is the future as bad as the people who would like to tell you how bad it's going to be uh, is. I think that it's not going to be just technology that's going to make things better. I think it's going to be a convergence of, of, of patient slash consumer demand for doing things better and the availability of technology. Um, the baby boomers are now in prime time chronic disease. They are set, if not if we're not careful, to bankrupt us in many variety, in many different ways. Um, but health is top of mind for them. It is on their personal and now public agenda. So I think that health IT is going to take hold as it is in other parts around the world and start to, you may not call it health ID, but it will start to advise you when you're buying your, your uh, foods in the grocery store. It'll start to advise you, and this is something that's coming out in auto, uh, automobiles in the next five years. It'll start to advise you that you're either fatigued or stressed behind the wheel. That health is no longer going to be something that you find just in the hospital or for the folks that are predicting the past that healthcare is moving to the house. Healthcare is going to be everywhere. And the standards of that communication is going to also have, compel us to have certain wellness behaviors. The greatest statement of healthcare reform coming out of Washington today is a focus on wellness. And I think using health IT for performance metrics of how well did you keep the population versus how quickly did you turn out a knee replacement is going to be critical. So I'm optimistic. I think it's going to lead to a healthier, older population and lead hopefully to a, a healthier America down the road. Dr. Weed. Well, I think that um, I can't predict when it'll start, when the government will catch on uh, that we need a library of couplers and can articulate the philosophy that I've been trying to say today. But I, can, I predict this, that once it starts, it'll go like wildfire. The public will catch on immediately that no human mind could do what we were doing. It was ridiculous what medical schools were doing, nursing schools, everybody else. Is there another way? Well, let's get it going. It'll be in the hospital boards, it'll be in rotary clubs and everything else. Why aren't you up to date? Why don't you have a personal computer in your house? Why aren't you kids, why don't you, you mean your kids don't keep their own records? They don't, that's my prediction. It's all in your hands, Carolyn. We couldn't begin to get to all of the really interesting questions that people had submitted, which were almost as expansive and far-ranging as the uh, fascinating conversation we've had this evening. So I hope that you will join me before going to the reception in uh, thanking our three terrific presenters.